just voted today via absentee ballot, and I was compelled by one, this is my first election I'm eligible to vote for, and I think it's very important. There's a lot of a lot at stake this year in 2024. I am planning to vote. I've actually already voted by using absentee ballot. I voted on October 5th. That's my birthday, so I thought that was a pretty great way to spend my time. We felt a sense of relief knowing that, okay, I'm finally participating in my country's <laughs> democracy, but also a slight sense of anxiety, one of thinking, is this going to get there to my home state on time? And even if it does, will it be accurately counted? So definitely a little nervous with that. I wish I could be in state to vote in person on election day, but unfortunately this is the best I can do. I am playing the votes. I'm currently I'm currently in the office, but I am from Tennessee. I'm trying to do an absolute battle. I am also planning to vote. Uh, what compelled me is, I think this is one of the most important elections. It's also my first time voting as I just turned 18. Tennessee, they have like, two rules. One is that you have you can't be an online voter, so you had to register um, in person in the voting commission. And then you also have to have voted before. It's kind of it's weird, weird rules. So I have to kind of fight back and forth with the voting commission to kind of get my absentee ballot. Yeah. I also found it difficult to get my absentee ballot. I did register for it online, which was easy, but then they had to like call me to confirm who it was multiple times. So that was hard because it was just like phone tag trying to reach them. And I think I have to get my absentee ballot notarized, which is also difficult as a college student. Filling out my absentee ballot was not too difficult. It came with pretty detailed instructions and it was easy to seal up and drop in a mailbox close to my home. To fill out my absentee ballot, I had to submit a form to request it because I live in New York, and then it arrived within within a week, and then I have to fill it out. We were able to track the, the letter the whole time in case it was late, so I, I had a good time. So I requested the absentee ballot in September, and it took a really long time to arrive, so I was worried that it wasn't going to arrive in time for me to submit it. People do come in and ask for ballots, but it's not really sure whether it has been lost or if um, from their county has if it has been sent to us. Because that happened with my ballot too. Um, I thought my ballot wasn't sent yet, but it was just the offices back home taking a long time. I've noticed a lot more red states. Um, I think that's a bit more important, at least in the context that we're in a blue state at the moment. Um, there are blue, like, blue ballots coming in, but it's like a lot less because I feel like it's everyone who goes here that are from the blue state is nearby, and so they'll either just go home and do it, and I've, I've had heard like some friends like, oh, they're just going to drive home and then drive back to do their voting. The election atmosphere, I would say, has been anxious. I feel like a lot of people are scared to have hope about a specific outcome. I think it's been a very taboo conversation. I think politics have become very, very um, stigmatized nowadays and polarizing. And I hope after this election, in another four years, we look back and can reflect on how much change has come and hopefully some of that polarization has calmed down a little bit and we're able to just come together and have real honest and respectful conversations about where we are in our country.